What's going on guys? My name is Hussein. Uh, I'm in LA for the weekend celebrating my birthday uh, and uh, I thought I'm gonna make you a, a bit of a quick video discussing this topic of system design and simplicity of system design and this topic might be a little bit controversial but I'd like to talk about it and, and, and uh, here's where different opinions come come into play and there's no wrong or right answer this is just a preference and uh, I've I worked with a lot of personality uh, in my career and I've seen a lot of spectrums when it comes to personality when engineers and uh, I tend to prefer engineers that go always back to the basics and I work with those more and uh, I find I found out that while in in a system design um, exercise, because we don't really do interviews in the meeting, right? It's just we're actually sitting down and designing the system. Usually, one person is involved in the system design. They are they are responsible for carrying out the design themselves, and you're, you're designing a piece of technology on the back, and you're designing a system usually that system comes from a requirement that the some stakeholder asked for right and here's where the problem comes most designers forget this link that this system was born to solve a problem and this problem if forgotten then the design get muddled and we no longer know what we're solving and we get into these discussions where what are we solving exactly why is this design so complicated i'm gonna give you some examples from what i've seen in the design process itself and from observing the output of a software such as RabbitMQ or traffic, it's clear what happens in that process. You can see the final product and kind of make a guess. And what, what, what was the system design uh, process looked like, right? So let's talk about that a little bit. So as we talked about, right? We start from a single problem and then you start designing the system. It's like, okay, I want, and when I say system here, guys, you can go as wide as possible or as, as narrow as possible. We're designing a backend system here. It could be, could be an existing system and you're plugging a new feature or it could be a brand new infrastructure, the whole thing. You're, you're building something from scratch, right? So that anything on the spectrum, and this applies for everything. When you know what you're building, that is very critical to produce a simple and elegant system design. That's always the linkage here. If you have a vague idea of what you're building, let's say, I want to build a Twitter clone, or I want to build a Zoom clone, or I want to build X, right? It is not well defined. And as you go and build the system, you're gonna start asking the, not necessarily you, but someone else would ask the question, well, which destroys, in my opinion, the design and eventually the software that is the result of the system design. And the question is, what if? What ifs are great questions. What ifs are amazing? What ifs are great uh, producers of, of niches and edge cases that you couldn't think for? However, the problem with what ifs, they can bring your design to a complex state if you could not, if you could not control that 
design that's my niece <laughs> all right so if you could not control those what ifs questions you could go into a black hole of a system design where you end up re-architecting the system so that it 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 just it grows from this small thing that is supposed to do one thing that's the unix uh, strategy by the way one thing into this oh how about this thing 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 and it start the system started to grow and what do developers do when this when things grow they abstract it, it says one two three and four looks the same so let's create this new abstraction called whatever and then when you try to explain it to the user now it's like oh here's the new thing it's like what the heck is this why do i need it oh that's because w w we thought of we thought of doing it just this way but but what if this this and this and this and this and this and this and this and, this, and that's why we called it this way right and that's what i noticed with products like traffic and RabbitMQ. exchanges is a complex abstraction to me and it was invented because it was an afterthought to solve something else, right? RabbitMQ middlewares and, and routers are the same. What ifs? What if I want to connect this to this and add a rule? What if I want to compress my service? What if I want to do this? Whatever. So these what ifs start to ask more questions, start to complicate the product and produce as a result a complex system design. And when we get a complex system design, what do we do? We get a complex software. Obviously, guys, you feel free to disagree and agree with anything I say. And uh, what do you think about this thing? Have you designed a system that you think it solves a single problem? But let's go through this a little bit. You could be the, the person who designs that system that solves that single problem and then other people that reviews the design will complicate it that's one way that goes it. or it could be the other way around where you're gonna start thinking of the what ifs because you're just you're you're creative you're creative in 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 by nature and you say you start thinking about all the other problems first and not solving that single problem just because in the future some use case that you haven't th think of might come into the design so you try to shove it in the design itself right and that produces complex stuff twitter very simple thing i want to tweet 140 characters what i'm doing right now they didn't think about mentions they didn't think about tweet, uh, retweets. All of this stuff are invented by us, the consumers. They added this later. So why not? Why not build something simple and change it later? We, call, oh, we always say that it's very hard to change. And that's absolutely true. But we are living in a, in a system, in an era where building new systems are cheaper because we can always communicate between these two systems with this architecture of microservices. Now, I have my reservation of microservices. It's not always the use case. It's not always solved. But it gives you this edge that you can always design new thing and put in another microservice. This way, linking those two is a very, 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 very powerful way of thinking about things. What do you guys think uh, about this topic, system design, complexity, and all that stuff? I'm going to see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome. Goodbye.